What's going on, friends? This is yours truly, Frankie Wilson, and on the air with me right now. We finally come to this time, and I'm happy about it because on the phone with me right now, I have a brother that is the ultimate multitasker. When he is not in the studio himself producing hits, he's doing things like Christian counseling, mentoring, managing. He works as a CEO of his own company and has recently added the title actor to his resume. Of course, I'm talking about none other than the acclaimed gospel rap artist Blaine. What's going on, brother? Yo, I gotta give you a, I have to put my hands together for you right now, man. <laughs> God bless you and welcome to Inside Gospel. Absolutely. So, man, before we get into the other stuff, you gotta tell us about this acting. What's up with that? <laughs> Yes, <laughs> the acting debut. Man, it was an incredible experience. Um, it wasn't something that I necessarily had my heart set out to do, acting. Uh, it was something I was comfortable with. I had done some things like that in the past as a young buck, but the opportunity presented itself. Uh, my publicist contacted me and said, GMC is shooting a film and your name came up. Would you be interested? So I was honored, and uh, just to work with the cast that I had the opportunity to work with, and uh, man, it was just an overall great experience, so I definitely look forward to maybe doing something like that again. Man, I'll say, you know, just looking at the uh, looking at the roster here, you were able to uh, work with one of the greats, you know, that we all know as David Ruffin, brother Leon. You know, David Ruffin from the Tips. Oh yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. But you know, with you doing all of that, tell me, is there any more acting that we have to look forward to from Flame? I mean, do you have some other movies yeah. or something like that that you may be working on, or is this it? Yeah, I hope so, man. We have we had an opportunity really to mess with uh you know the guys on the set. Uh, Essence Atkins was a part of the film, um, and Vanessa Simmons, you know Russell Simmons' daughter, and um, man, you, you remember uh, the young lady that played the mom on on Urkel, uh, Family Matters. Yeah, 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 I saw that. Um, so anyway, Joe Marie she was a part of it. Yeah, she was in the yeah. film. So it was just a great cast. And, uh, yeah, so we had a chance to mess with them. The company that put everything together, uh, they just did a stellar job. And, yeah, hopefully my name stays in the pot. But I love to continue to do things like that. It was weird. It was an incredible time. Absolutely, I'm sure of it. You know, something that I said earlier, you are definitely a multitasker. With all of the different things that you're doing, from acting to also being your own, you know, a CEO of your own company, Clear Sight Music. Talk to us a little bit about that because I got to tell you, man, being an artist yourself, Amen. managing artists yourself, Amen, and all the other things that it entails, I'm sure that sounds like a really, yeah, it sounds like a really, really big task. So tell us about that. Yeah, it's definitely a task. Uh, one of the things that really encouraged me to do so was I just, my wife and I, we both felt like God had given us an incredible platform, some great mentorship, and such a momentum that it wasn't just for us. So we wanted to serve other artists that have been doing well. They love Jesus, they love people, they love ministry, but they're incredible artists. So we wanted to give them a platform. So that was really the heart behind it was to serve and then just put us like music. We want to put out music that provides spiritual sight clarity in the, in, the, in the midst of a generation that's, you know, kind of cultural that way. So that's, that's the heartbeat behind Clear Sight Music. Yep. Yeah, and also on top of that, you are... Um you are a minister and you study theology, right? Yes, correct, correct. Yeah, completing my master's <laughs> in biblical counseling, so got my hands full. <laughs> right, and so why do you feel like that is so important? Does it aid you in what you do when you're on stage? Yeah, man, you know, um, I love people and uh, I've had some interesting experiences growing up and it led me towards biblical counseling. So I want to be a student of the word, but also want to be a student of people. I want to speak heart language. So I want to connect the dots between the concepts we read in the Bible and how they apply to our practical lives and even our deep issues that we've had throughout the years and currently. So I want to be skilled at bringing those two things together so that I can better serve God's people. So that's really my my intentions behind the schooling and, and bring it all together in the music so that I can continually perpetuate the same message in different ways. Man, I tell you what, to do all the different things that you're doing, you got to be anointed yeah. and called to do that. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, you know, all of that aside, it's time to talk about what everybody wants to know about, about this music career that you have. Let's talk about your latest CD, The Six. 
Yes, the sixth. Um, the simple meaning is it's my sixth album, so I wanted to you know celebrate that. And then um, the Bible says that God created both male and female on the sixth day. So I wanted to talk about who we are, our personalities, our strengths, our weaknesses, our commonalities, our differences. Um, I had the opportunity to travel to India for a couple of weeks, and I flew to Barbados. LA, my hometown, St. Louis. So I was in so many different types of places and different people groups and experiences that I started to really pay attention to us. And uh, man, I wanted to bring light to our, in our identity. And ultimately, Christ demonstrated God's original idea for mankind. And it's through Him and His ministry that we can return back to the purpose on which God made us. So in the album, I just creatively unpacked. That subject matter has a lot of live musical instrumentation. It's uh, energetic. It's a big sound. So it's a fun record, but it's also thought-provoking, and, and it, it causes you to really have to, you know, listen in and peer into what's going on in the record and the concept. So it's just a fun album to put together, and it seems like God's really using it, and the momentum is crazy right now. Man, it's truly a blessing that you've been able to withstand the uh, test of time, and you've been able to grow as you have in your craft and with your ministry just the same but you know we've seen the same thing happen with gospel rap all together you know and I know that even though you have been able to work with so many big names and do so many great things that even to this day you still deal with some opposition oh yeah oh yeah 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 I'm sure <laughs> yeah, of it absolutely. so why, could you please just tell us a little bit about that like how do you feel about that that you still have to deal with that to this day and how does that affect you ministering to the masses yeah I think uh, there's an aspect of it that I appreciate that our, you know, the elderly uh, brothers and sisters in Christ are guarding the church. They're trying to protect the next generation. So they just won't let anything in the pulpit, in the churches. So I, I respect that, and we need that. Uh, but typically what I've seen is when people really pay attention to it, they dialogue with us, they hear that the content is based on the Bible and it's expanding on the scriptures, they get to meet the people behind the music and see that our hearts are towards God and for ministry. They tend to soften their hearts towards what we do. But I have seen... Um, over the years, it evolved. I've seen the periods of Christian rap where it was really shunned and uh, people who weren't open to it, but then I've seen a lot of churches really get behind it and see it as a valid ministry. So that's what I'm excited about. Absolutely, man. So let me ask you, with all the ministering that you have done, and we're getting ready to get out of here, friends, if you're just joining us, we're speaking with gospel rap artist Flame, CEO, actor, all of that. Flame, who would you love to work with? Before your career is over. Yeah, man, let me see. There's so many people. I think um, one of the persons that really changed the game, in my opinion, uh, of music in general, um, but in particular Christian music, was Kirk Franklin. Um, I've had a chance to meet him a few times. and I mean, it would just be crazy just to do a record with Kirk. That would be so cool. So that would be a person I would love to work with. And then there's a, a, a band out called Casting Clowns. I just love the way they write. Um, it's just... It's just Part language and, and it's real practical so it would be cool to collaborate outside of my genre maybe with those two two groups two persons that'd be crazy <laughs> and when you're not writing collaborating things like that what does flame like to do you know outside of the limelight oh yeah it's a few, I think probably uh, my, my wife and I we like to just catch a good movie so we'll hit the theater or we'll fall back and watch a DVD that's something that's cool for us to slow down and just you know enjoy a good, a good movie or uh, for me I'm a neat freak what so I like to clean up you know what I mean <laughs> keep the house clean <laughs> no, so that's, I, that's cool no. though that's cool I mean you know first you know battle the devil then battle the dust bunny you know what I'm saying <laughs> <laughs> I mean I must say that is not what I was thinking originally but I don't see anything wrong with that hey, at all, bro. Hey, I, I throw some music on, some sermons or something. See, my daddy was he was military, so he kind of oh, put that in me. You know okay. what I mean? Yeah. Okay, that makes yeah. sense. Okay, I understand. Yeah, yeah. Well, look, bro, it's been such a pleasure having you on the show. Before we let you go now, please let everybody out there listening know how they can keep up with you and how they can go out and get the CD. Absolutely. You can get the music wherever music is sold. Uh, you can also go to clearsightmusic.com. That's S I G H G site. Hit me up on Twitter at Flame314, Facebook Flame314, Instagram Flame314. Love to connect with people, churches, organizations. Get at me. Ladies and gentlemen, 
I give you again my brother Flame and thank you so much for being a part of Inside Gospel. You're a blessing to the body of Christ and I'm praying God's blessings and his continued favor on you and everything you do in your ministry. Man, absolutely. Likewise.